we're going to do some acid washing. We've got a sample here that has a great deal of pyrite in it. So we're going to take some nitric acid and some water in solution, put it on a hot plate, and we're going to dissolve the pyrite. Okay, this is the equipment you're going to need for the acid washing procedure. You're going to need a hot plate, nitric acid, a 400 milliliter glass beaker with a stirring rod, a tri-corner 250 milliliter beaker, water, and an overflow container in case the chemical reaction boils up and over the beaker. You're also going to need safety glasses because you're dealing with both at some point in time nitric acid and later on some acetone. So you'll need your safety glasses and you'll be wearing gloves throughout the entire procedure. For the size sample that we have, we're going to put about 75 milliliters of water in the beaker. I'm placing the water in the beaker inside the safety reservoir and now I'm going to pour the nitric acid in with it. And I'm using about a 50 to 50 ratio for water and nitric acid. Place it on the hot plate and then turn the hot plate on about 190. Next, I'm going to take the sample I'm stirring the solution in the sample. I want to gather the, the sample in the middle of the beaker, and that way I can better keep track of the chemical reaction that's going on. Depending upon the sample size, this, can take, uh, this process can take as little as two or three minutes, or 15 or 20 minutes. Now we're going to begin the rinsing process and we're going to pour off the nitric acid, water, and pyrite residue into the tri-corner beaker. Then we are going to rinse with water very thoroughly to make sure that we get all of the nitric acid out of the sample. The reason for that is very simple. The next stage in the rinsing process is going to involve acetone. And under no circumstances should you have nitric acid and acetone under the same hood at the same time. The reaction to that uh, could be uh, unpleasant. So we're going to rinse thoroughly. Next, we're going to remove the nitric acid and put it back into the cabinet. So now we are clear of all of our nitric acid. Now that that's done, we can take our sample and acetone and rinse it into the flask or into the filter paper so that we can begin to dry it. Now that we've removed all of the nitric acid, we can rinse into the filter paper using acetone. We've thoroughly rinsed the sample with acetone and now it's just drying. I'm checking the sample that we've just acid washed. It is very, very clean. So at this point in time, what we're going to do is we're going to secure it in this snap cap vial and take it up to the picking room to get prepared for mounting.
That concludes the acid washing procedure. Um, but in closing, what I want to do is, is make sure that you understand that because of the nature of the chemicals that we use in this process, it is absolutely essential that you follow all of the safety precautions. Everything from gloves to safety glasses and making sure that you have no acetone and no nitric acid at the same time in the same place under the same hood. They've got to be kept separate.